On Monday, NHS janitor Michael Kromensky pled not guilty to four charges of photographing an unsuspected new person. Allegedly, through structural modifications in the first floor in Northampton High girls' bathroom. I'm Flor Castillo, and this is Tell It Like It Is. On Thursday, March 29th, students found out through an assembly that unusual structural modifications had been discovered in the first floor girls' bathroom. Shortly after, through a letter sent home, students learned that a Northampton High janitor was placed on pay leave. To find out how the administration discovered and mobilized in regard to this issue, I spoke to NHS Principal Brian Lombardi. A custodian and maintenance person were um, rep responding to a re um, report for a leak in one of the internal walls um, in the custodian's um, closet. And when they're there, they noticed that some of the pipes were bent. They were concerned, why was this bent? It shouldn't be bent here um, in this space. And they investigated, um, and their investigation led them to find that there were um, some holes um, in the drop ceiling tiles in the girls' bathroom. So they were immediately reported it. Um, we immediately shut down um, the bathroom, locked it. I called the superintendent. Um, we then contacted the police to, to launch an investigation. We had our class meetings, as, you, as you're aware of, uh, informing the student body that um, the holes were identified, um, that also a person had been um, put on administrative leave. Friday at 11 o'clock that night, I received a phone call from Officer Wallace that an arrest had been made of the former custodian and of the four counts um, that he was being charged with. So we made a plan to make sure that our counselors were available. We held a faculty meeting that morning, seeing how teachers and staff were doing, um, and letting them know that we were going to be available all day for anything if a student or them needed someone to check in with and answer any questions. And then we had our morning class uh, meetings. And that was aimed really to, uh, one, give students um, an update on the information, but also just allow a forum for students to ask whatever questions came to mind and try to best to answer them with the information that we we had um, moving forward. For many female high school students, questions have risen about how the people in these photos will be identified and notified. If and when that happens, um, the, the police will contact us. Um, there will be no males doing that. We would probably try to limit it to as few people as possible. So it, it, it would um, potentially be you know, a, a female administrator and maybe one of our counselors if an individual um, was identified, then it would be a thoughtful process of how do you contact the family of, of that person. There would never be a situation that we would call that student down in school and, and, and you know, throw that on them. In response to this incident, many in the NHS community are wondering how something like this could have occurred and what can be done to prevent incidents like this in the future. Above all, these revelations have had a significant effect on students, especially female students who use the bathroom l regularly. When I found out what happened, I was ultimately shocked and kind of like scared since I've used the bathroom and many females use the bathroom. So me, along with other females in the school, we felt mostly unsafe and kind of violated. Well, I thought it was very shocking at first because, like, I've never heard anything like that. But then I was kind of disgusted. Well, yeah, the whole situation was pretty scary, but I don't know what else can be done to make our bathrooms more safe. The fact that, like, a former student from the high school was, like, watching me is pretty disturbing, and I feel really grossed out. And the fact that we don't even know who he has pictures of yet and this like anticipation of it could be anyone, it could be you, it could be me, it could be any of your friends is like really disturbing. I think we just need to watch what our adults are doing more carefully. I think um, since they have authority we just kind of let them do what they want yet we don't watch, we watch our students so carefully but we don't watch our adults as, as, as carefully as we should. Some in the community were surprised by the seemingly low bill of $500 which was paid by the janitor who now awaits his pre-trial hearing on May 7. We'll continue to update you as more information is released. I'm Zor Castillo and this was Tell It Like It Is.